Okay, perfect. Can you hear me online? Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning, participant. I don't know if they can hear me online. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. I think we, we will start our session. And welcome everyone for this session. My name is uh, Rachel Sanusi. I am technical support at Digital Grassroots. And today we will start our session. It's a great pleasure for me to welcome you all for this civic event to launch our impact report. So today we gather here not only as a community, but as a collective force driving change in the digital space. So as we start this journey since 2017, our organization do a lot of things. So today we are happy to have you all for this launch. So I'm here with my colleagues and I will let them introduce themselves. So over to you. Ufa. Can you hear me online? Yes, can you hear me? Hi. Yeah, we can hear you. Thank you. Uh, hi. Yes, thank you, Rashad. Good day, everyone. And thanks for joining us here today. Um, my name is Ufa. I am the co-founder and global lead at Digital Grassroots. I am a software engineer and technology policy analyst, currently residing in Newcastle, UK from Nigeria. And we are really glad to have you here today. I don't know if I can put on my video as well. Okay, yes, that works. So yeah, um, thank you so much for joining us. And unfortunately, I can't be present at the IDF in Japan, but we're really, really happy to have you here with us today. As many of you know, Digital Grassroots is a youth-led nonprofit organization that is focused on increasing digital citizenship for young people from underrepresented regions in with respect to internet governance and digital rights. We were founded in 2017 and as the outcome as one of the outcomes of the Internet Society Youth at IGF Fellowship. And since then we have been doing a lot of work around digital literacy for young people to enable them access the services that they need to excel in the digital age, as well as engaging them in um, community engagement projects with regards to digital rights and internet governance, enabling them to understand the internet ecosystem in their local community in order to properly advocate for various instances and challenges of digital rights and internet governance abuses in their own local communities. And because of that, we are now um, at the end of every year, we like to congregate at the IGF to highlight the good work that has been done in our communities to talk about how we go around and navigate these digital rights issues in our communities as well. Um, so today we are here to talk about our impact report. We would be showing how we have engaged in the last five years and the work that we have been doing with um, regards to building our communities, engaging in our programs. We have two flagship, we have a flagship program called the Digital Grassroots Ambassadors Program, which we um, run in coordination with our community leaders for uh, advocacy programs, as well as our digital rights learning exchange programs. All of these programs are um, avenues and pathways that we are using as a method of getting more young people to be aware of how to advocate for the internet in their local communities, as well as how to um, connect and collaborate with other 
um, participant in the global internet ecosystem where they can come together and do this amazing work. So um, that is why we're here today. And I'm really looking forward to presenting this impact report to um, the global community and getting everyone's input. Thank you very much for joining us today. And um, over back to you, Rashad. Okay, thank you so much, Ufa. And I think we can move forward for the session. I would let you, I don't know if uh, Ufa is already, uh, Esther is already online. Yeah, let me check. Okay. Okay, I will give the floor again to Ufa to present uh, the impact report further before we launch it. Thank you, Ufa. Over to you. All right. Thank you very much, Rashad. Um, so, as many of you who have had a chance to pass by our booth at the IJF Village, you should be able to scan a copy of our report and download it. Um, I'm sure Rashad also has some copies of the reports that can be passed around to be scanned. Um, this report is called Unstoppable Together. It is a summary of the work that we have been doing in the past five years. It highlights so many of our community members. Digital Grassroots is not just an organization, it's a community. And um, why is this community-based learning important? This is important because as young people from underrepresented regions, every single resource that goes into doing the digital rights advocacy work that we do is very, very crucial to us. So this report will enable us to tell our stories from a very owner, from an ownership perspective to be able to put out the work that our amazing community has been doing in their various capacities and the various resources that have been made available to them. This report was um, made in collaboration with the community. It was a uh, done in a bottom-up way, using stories, highlighting the work, using the um, showcasing the experiences and the lived challenges in, and different instances of digital rights abuses that has been occurring in these various uh, communities, talking about freedom of expression, um, privacy, surveillance, hate speech, inclusion, accessibility, and, um, and um, other issues that um, would hinder the open access of the internet in so many local communities. Um, Unstoppable Together is not just a one-off report that we want to put out. It's an entire journey that shows a pathway towards where we are going, towards the digital future that we are trying to build. And we want this to be something that we can build upon. So we want your feedback, we want your input, we want um, you to use this as a channel to get to know more about our work and how you can be a part of it. Um, Unstoppable Together also highlights the key ways that you can be a part of our community and how people can contribute to our community, which is very crucial to us. The work that we do cannot be sustained if it is, is not open and if it is not inclusive. That is something that is super important to us as well. So um, please engage with the report. We want to hear from you. We want your feedback. We want your contributions. We want your collaboration in every single instance of the way. And um, yes, we're also going to use this as a platform to highlight some of our community members who are doing so many amazing work in the communities. And we want to use this as a platform to all, also recognize this work that they are doing. And um, please, again, before I um, tap out, uh, make sure you engage with the report and you engage with the work that we do and that's coming out from our communities. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Ufa. Uh, as she was saying early, we have some community members who are doing a good job in our community. 
So I would like to invite uh, Anna to present uh, this community member. Thank you. Over to you, Anna. And also, I have some copy of the impact report, so hard copy, you can come to take some of it if you want. Thank you. So, Anna, over to you. Uh, thank you, Rashad. Uh, uh, I hope you all can hear me. Um, my name is Hannah. Uh, I'm a communications lead at Digital Grassroots. Um, I'm coming from Belarus, but I'm currently based in France. Um, yeah, and I think uh, we're coming to the most exciting part of this uh, of the session for us at Digra, where we get to celebrate and acknowledge the amazing impact that our community members have been doing. Because as Ufa mentioned, um, we are an organization, but we are also a community of people who are driving um, the knowledge and experiences that we get to, that we try to transfer to the communities across our uh, global uh, network and uh, the stories of the people that we we are happy to recognize today they they are testament to degrees spirit and values of fostering digital literacy advocacy and impactful leadership um, in internet governance the first person i would like to recognize and uh, an important thing do not hesitate to uh, and be very generous with the clapping emojis when we recognize people, I think it's a very cool option that we have here. Um, yeah. um, the first person I would like to, to acknowledge is uh, Nancy Vachira. Um, since joining the Green 2018, Nancy has magnified her impact in the digital space, leveraging her journey from a participant to a youth leader in global internet governance initiatives. Nancy utilized Digger experience to become a global digital inclusion advocate working towards reducing digital inequalities in rural communities through her international engagements from representing digital grassroots at the uh, events like Commission on the Status of Women to involvement with IGF, ISARC and other key initiatives. Nancy has been advancing Digger mission at a global stage ensuring that the efforts to bridge uh, digital divides resonate across different communities and inspire active participation in digital space. Um, Nancy, I would like to give you space. It's okay now, you can speak. Hello, everyone. Thank you for this opportunity. And I'm so grateful to be part of this community. Since I began and joined the community in 2018, it was the first, um, I was in the first cohort when Digra just began. And I didn't know much about the digital space or what to really expect as I began my journey. But out, out of curiosity, I just followed through and participated in the digital space. I had done information technology back in my university, but I didn't know where to begin to grow myself, to be able to speak up and to champion issues that can bring positive changes to people in the community. So Digra was my first community. I'm really grateful for my mentors, Esther Ufa and Wadangi. They really held my hand and showed me what to really do in this space. And as I kept growing on, I have been in IGF space and I have contributed. And recently this year, I represented Digra community at um, International Women's Day in New York. It was a great platform to share my story and how I began, where I am, and the impact I'm still creating. So I'm really grateful for this community, and together we can be able to achieve much and to do much as we keep on growing and growing young people, helping a hand and showing the way. Thank you, everyone, and I hope we both participate and get to grow ourselves to the better.
thank you so much, Nancy. Uh, and thank you to everyone who is reacting to, um, yeah, to, uh, with the emojis. Um, the next person I would like to introduce um, and um, acknowledge is uh, our community member from Haiti, uh, Stanley Jr. Burner. From a dedicated learner to educator and advocate, Stanley has magnified his impact as a deeper community member, championing youth empowerment and internet governance on a worldwide stage. Actively engaging with Tigre across years, Stanley has shown leadership in several of our projects, notably leading a Tigre mini hackathon. Stanley's leadership in his home country also drives the Young Girls Empowerment Initiative, where he tirelessly works towards mitigating gender-based violence and fostering digital literacy through various platforms, including the chapter, of, uh, the local chapter of the Internet Society and Youth Observatory. Stanley has transitioned his insights into action, advancing our cause of building youth internet leaders, both within his community and uh, on a global stage. Uh, Stanley, uh, please, the floor is yours. Hello, everyone, and thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can, can you hear you. Hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ashan. Um, welcome. Um, hello, everyone, and thank you for this introduction. I am Stanley Junior Bernard. I am from IT, and uh, I am also part of the uh, DeGra community. And it's an excellent opportunity for me to be here present at the IGF 2023, even if I'm not present physically, but I think um, being part of it online is an amazing thing. And also today is the best day for me because it's my birthday and I have the opportunity to talk about digital grassroots, how that community has impacted my life. Since I've joined uh, the digital grassroots in 2019, I think this is the first time I've met uh, things related to internet governance, and that has delved me into internet governance. I joined the Internet Society and take many courses online with the Internet Society that helped me build also my 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 knowledge and my skills on internet uh, issues. And I could say now that the digital grassroots was one of the best things that could happen to me because that have helping me. Uh, that has played a significant role in shaping my understanding on digital rights and internet government. And I, that has provided me with the tools and knowledge that I needed to succeed in the digital world. Because nowadays, internet, the technologies are the new, the new trend. And people in my, con in my country doesn't really have uh, access to technology to internet, to connectivity. And even now, I still struggle to, to go online because of internet connectivity. And I think the internet should be open, free, accessible to everyone, not to only the North country, but also to global South. People should benefit to opportunities that are online. And I can say through the digital grassroots, I was awarded a scholarship, a scholarship for the One Young Well this year, and I think this is one of the things that um, that made the impact of digital grassroots in my life. Because through the digital grassroots, my work in IT has been recognized, and I was granted a scholarship from the One Young World, one of the global events in the world. So I, I would say that I'm sorry. I would say that um, I believe that digital grassroots has an important role to play in building digital a capacity for marginalized youth around the world. Because of its, of its innovative program, I would say that the Digital Right Learning Exchange was one of the best programs that I've ever attended that is based on digital rights, on digital act activism, on digital act advocacy, because we need this kind of training to uh, reinforce the capacity of young people from the global south. So I would encourage everybody to support the work of digital grassroots because the work that they are doing is impeccable. Thank you. Uh, 
Thank you so much for sharing, uh, Stanley. Um, I'm not sure if it's appropriate space and place to sing happy birthday collectively, but happiest of birthday to you. Yeah, I hope you're going to have a wonderful day. Um, and um, yeah, last but not least, we have Grace Saluki from Zimbabwe uh, embarking on her leadership journey with Tigra. Grace um, has forged her path in the community from a learner to a mentor and advocate, exemplifying Tigra's values of community elevation and knowledge translation and her efforts at the Zimbabwe Information and Technology Empowerment Trust have been instrumental in embedding digital rights and literacy within local framework. Um, her um, translation of capacity building skills um, and Tigra knowledge uh, translated into actionable initiatives, not only uplifting her community and acquiring crucial digital literacy skills, but also has been playing a crucial role in the learning experience of Tigra newcomers, where she has been supporting um, our learners, creating a ripple uh, of empowered digital advocacy and literacy across our Tigra network. Uh, Grace, um, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you so much. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Oh, okay. Um, well, um, hi, everyone. Uh, yes, my name is Grace, and I'm from Zimbabwe, and I'm so pleased to be part of this um, of, of this event to launch the impact report. Um, oh, yeah, my journey uh, started in, with uh, my journey with Digra started in 2002. 22 years when I participated in the digital rights learning exchange and I I'm, I can actually uh, uh, will openly say that uh, that was more like an eye opener and not only an uh, eye opener but it propelled me in my um, in my leadership journey in the internet and the digital rights landscape um, because as uh, soon after um, participating in the digital rights learning exchange. Well, I actually got spotlighted for another opportunity and I can, I could have never had uh, an opportunity to be part of this prestigious um, uh, community solutions program. So currently I'm in the United States, still carrying on the, the same issue, working on the same issue when we're looking at digital literacy and um, also increasing um, digital safety and uh, digital rights awareness. Amongst the, the amongst our communities, so um, well, yeah, uh, we are really unstoppable together. And uh, through Digra, I actually learned that um, instead of looking for what's wrong in any other situation, we should look uh, at what we are strong at. And if we maximize on that, we can uh, continue to uh, to 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 have impact in our, our communities. So yeah, I'm actually happy to be part of this uh, community and I would like to continue to be part of the Digra community uh, based on the work that we are doing. It's actually uh, similar work and um, working together can actually make us have more impact in all our communities. And we are also putting Africa on the spotlight. So thank you so much Digra and I'm so happy that you invited me to be part of this event. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, everyone. And just before we go, um, I would like to just say a brief thank you to everyone. And um, I don't know if any other member of the team would just like to say a few words before we go. We pass on back to Rashad. Yeah, I think. I think I Esther would like to say something. I don't know. I just wanted to say. Big congratulations to all of you. This impact report would not have been possible without your hard work and also the dedication. When when we started DIGRA programs just through volunteering and collaborating, it was really in the hope that um, we can create new leaders, new young leaders from our side of the world so that we are 
more represented in in the internet governance ecosystem and i'm just so proud to see what you're all doing and the good success you've achieved and just huge congratulations we are very proud of you and thank you for being part of our community thank you russia okay thank you so much everyone as we are going to the end of this session i would like to express my gratitude to each of you and every one of you for your active engagement and also your contribution so in the coming month and coming year we hope to build upon this foundation and go forward. Together, we are totally unstoppable together. And I look forward to our continued journey together. Thank you, and until we meet again, keep digital grassroots movement alive. Thank you. Thank you, Rashad. Thank you, everyone. Yes, yes, you can ask question. You can use this mic to ask your question. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is James. I'm from Cameroon. So I want to thank you for your well-articulated presentation and for your report. But I going through the presentations and from all the guests you know speaking i realized one similarity they were predominantly from you know say english parts of africa and you know other african countries and the igf is really struggling to promote multilingual you know environment so i come from cameroon for example today is the very first time i hear about this lofty project so what firstly what are the conditions to become an ambassador and the second question is what are you people doing to get into other countries which do not express themselves in english thank you very much okay thank you so much for your question i will uh, give you a little answer and my colleague also will help me. So, you know, as I was saying, I am Rashad Sanusi and I am from Benin. And you know, Benin is also a French speaking country like Cameroon. So, my journey also in digital grassroots started in 2019, where I attended IGF, like you are attending now, in Berlin. And I met digital grassroots uh, in Nebut. So, it's where I hear about digital grassroots. And I decided to add, to join one of the program, which is the community leadership uh, training. So I joined this program, and over the year I learned a lot. And after now I joined the team. So even I am not f uh, English speak uh, from English country, I was able to learn through this journey together. So I learned a lot, and I think our program is also open for everyone, even. You are not from English country, so I have a lot of ambassador from Benin as well, who join our program. So, but I will let my colleague to give more, more answer. So, Ufa, would you like to comment? Yes, thank you very much, Rashad. And like you've already said, Digital Grassroots, we do a lot of work in the Francophone speaking countries in Africa, and we have a uh, in. We have a call for applications when we are running our ambassadors program. Um, admittedly, the language barrier in internet governance is an issue. So we've um, historically run a specific cohort of training for Francophone speaking countries, where we try to run the entire training program on internet governance and digital rights in um, in French. That's the whole program is delivered in French. Um, you can engage with us, um, talk to Rashad after this, um, session to visit our website, to learn more about our work, read our reports, to stay in touch with us, join our mailing list, and see how you can be a part of our community. We are 100% open and always looking for new ways to innovate around engaging more people in internet governance. Thank you, Ufa. I think 
we can engage further after. Thank you. I don't know if you have question also online. No. So thank you all for joining us. And it's really great to have you all. So have a good day. Bye.